Good morning, Junior 5. Uh, we are going to start a new lesson, the equations. Uh, let's start. Uh, first, I have to know the meaning of a symbolic expression. Symbolic expression, it contains of a number and a sign and a symbol. A number, any number, for example, six, the sign, it can be plus, minus, times, divided, any sign, and the symbol, it can be any letter, uh, for example, X, uh, Y, Z, and so on. First, I have some keywords to solve that, to solve this uh, symbolic expression. First, if I have the word add, sum, increase. Uh, or more than that the sign is going to be plus if the ha if i have the word subtract or difference less than or decrease the word is going to be minus if i if i have the word product or multiply the sign is going to be times. And if I have the word divide or quotient, the, the sign is going to be divided. Let's see. If he said add five to number x. First, add means plus. Add what? Add five. Add 5 to what? To x. Another example. If he said subtract 3 from y. Subtract means minus. That means minus 3. From what? From y. If I, he said multiply 5 by the number z. Multiply, that means that the sign times. Multiply what? Multiply 5 by z. But in multiplication, the sign can be hidden. Five, z times 5 is the same to 5z. Here, the sign between the 5 and the z is multiplication. But in multiplication, the sign can be hidden. Another example, he said add 7 to double x. What is the meaning of first of double x? Double x means 2x. Then add 7. Add means plus. That means plus 7. To what? To 1x? No. I, he said double x. If he said subtract 5 from triple y, I have triple y. What is the meaning of triple y? That means 3y. Then subtract 5, that means minus 5 from 3y. If he said Add 4 to half y. What is the meaning of half y? This means 1 over 2 y. First he said add 4. That means plus 4. To what? Half y. Second, we are going to ha have the relation between x and y. If he said y is 9 times 
the number x. Y is this word means y is means y equal. Y equal what? Nine times the number x. But we said that the times can be a hidden sign. So I can write it y equal nine x. Again, another example. If he said y is seven more than x. So I can, y is means y equal. The word more than means plus. That means plus 7. So y equal x plus 7. If he said x is 9 more than double y. Double y first means 2y. And x is means x equals more than the sign is going to be plus. So 2y plus 9. The last part we are going to say today how to solve an equation. If he said x plus 2 equals 5. I can get it by i that this x equals 3. But now I have some new rules. You have to know it. The plus will go to after the equal to minus. The minus will go to after the equal plus. Times is going to go to divided and divided is going to go to times. Let's see. If I have x plus 8 equals 10. Now, this sign is plus. will go to after the equal times. A uh, minus, sorry. This plus will go to after the equal to minus. Minus what? This is plus 8. We'll go to minus 8. So 10 minus 8 equals 2. That means x equals 2. Another example. If he said z plus 18 equals 18. Again, the plus will go to after the equal minus. Minus what? Minus 18. 18 minus 18 equals 0. That means z equals 0. If I have <clears throat> x minus 7 equals 3. As we said that the minus is going to go plus. Plus what? Plus 7. 3 plus 7 equals 10. That means x equals 10. Another example. x minus 5 equals 15. Minus will go to after the equal by plus. Minus 5 will go to up plus 5. So 15 plus 5 equals 20. That means x equals 20. If I have 4 x equals 16. Now, what is the hidden sign between 4 and x is times. Times is going to go to the other side by divided. Now, I have 16 divided 4. 16 divided 4 equals 4. That means x equals 4. Another example, if I have 2x equals 18. Now, again, the hidden sign between 2 and x is times. Times is going to go to the other side by divided. Now, I have 18 divided 2 equals 9. That means x equals 
9. If I have y divided 6 equal 6. As we said, divided is going to go to the other side by times. I have 6 times 6. 6 times 6 equal 36. That means y equals 36. If I have y over 12 equals 3. y over 12, that means y divided 12. As we said, divided is going to go to the other side by times. So I have y equal 3 times 12. 3 times 12 equal 36. That means y equals 36. If I have 2x plus 8 equals 14. Which part I will going to start with? I will going to start with the number without x. First, plus 8. This plus 8. Plus will go to the other side by minus. So I have 2x equals 14 minus 8. 14 minus 8 equals 6. That means 2x equals 6. Now, 2 and x, the hidden sign, times. will go to the other side by divided. Now, 6 divided 2 equals 3. That means x equals 3. Another example, 3y minus 5 equals 7. First, I will going to start with the number. Minus 5 will go to the other side by plus 5. 7 plus 5 equals 12. Which number equal to 12? 3y. Now, 3 and y, the sign is times, will go to the other side by divided. Div 12 divided, 3. That means y equals 4. Thank you.